Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. If you're watching this in real time, Happy New Year. I hope everybody's staying safe and had good holidays. Um, today I wanted to cover some of the release features which are more specific to customizations uh, and general features. So we're not going to cover a lot of industry special uh, enhancements. And I do have another video on flow enhancements. So feel free to check that out. We're not going to cover the flow enhancements in this video. Okay, um, let's get started. So I wanted to start with... Um, app builder enhancement so if I go to account page I'm just gonna hit edit page and there are some enhancements in this area um, one of them them being when it loads you can now actually make it so that uh, translation is enabled or you can so before um, if you added a custom tab here you wouldn't be able to translate that and not being able to use custom labels if you don't know what custom labels are, um, custom labels are something that you can create and a lot of developers use this. If you're creating a custom UI, um, then you, you'll just create a custom label. You can call them whatever you want, obviously uh, following the naming conventions. And then what it lets you do is um, add different um, languages to it. So custom labels are really helpful and if you don't work with multi-language, you probably haven't used this. But um, on the account record page or any record page now you can add a custom label here so let's say if I wanted to call this tab something else which is custom to me instead of hard coding uh, a specific value like this and if I do this everybody regardless of which language the users are in will see the spring 21 um, but custom labels I can now use custom label here and the syntax is something like this so you've got your dollar symbol exclamation mark label dot I did have a custom label named as spring 21 and you just close the label and I'll show you how the value changes so it's called spring 21 language because I'm logged in as English and if I go to that here um, I'm seeing the value here since I don't have multi-language enabled if I did I was able to actually put other values so if you're user is logged in a different language they'll see the value specific to their languages okay so that's a really cool feature um, and you can learn more about it in the help um, document so another new thing uh, not not on the platform but in the help document itself now these release notes have moved onto the help notes or the help dot salesforce.com before it was something else uh, it looked very different so now you can find all the release notes straight up here and what that lets you do is actually compare with previous releases and what was released. So this looks very different than other releases. So definitely check it out. And it's very familiar if you're already using help.salesforce.com. Okay. Um, and then there are some tiny enhancements around the uh, dynamic actions. We did have dynamic actions going live uh, or beta last release. But now what you can do is, I'm just going to say upgrade to dynamic actions. And now it's GA. And instead of going to the page layout, you can just have dynamic actions added directly on the app builder. So you don't have to go to the page layout and add that. You can just start from right here and add all the actions that you need. So if I say finish, I can add actions from right here instead of going to the page. It will show me all the standard actions that I have, um, quick actions, and also global actions, as well as productivity actions, which are more mobile. So really exciting um, no need to switch to page layout just to do that stuff so I'm just gonna add few here and you can add filter like usual uh, if you want to show it to only specific uh, users you can do that Add action and another thing I want to show you here is sharing so now sharing is actually possible you can have a share button in lightning that was a missing feature for lightning um, as compared to classic but now you can actually do add sharing into the lightning view so I'm just gonna add that here by the way I do recommend not to have this button unless your business absolutely needs it and if you do have this button make sure only the people who supposed to be sharing records have access to this action because it does make uh, troubleshooting a little bit difficult and you'll always have to go to manual sharing and if change if the owners are changed it won't remember that so use caution um, while using share button uh, as far as possible your sharing should be controlled by your 
or org wide defaults and sharing rules and that sort of stuff and not manual sharing unless it's absolutely needed obviously okay so we are out of the app builder and now I have sharing and that looks very familiar to what we had in classic you can add the users and share the records so it's moving on to a different feature I wanted to talk about app guidance and if you have never used app guidance I highly recommend using app guidance it's really helpful for the end users so all you need to do is go to app guidance and it's exactly what it sounds like it basically gives your user um, actions or instructions on how they should be using something one um, easier one would be letting user create their list views but you don't want if the users are not aware of how to use Salesforce um, you can create in-app guidance for them and you might have noticed things like this pop-up when you are on your Salesforce org and Salesforce is trying to guide you through something you can do that same thing for your users so you can create app guidance just stick it in the list view if you are trying to suggest them how to create list view and you can either float it or pop up outside here and you can also control how often it should appear and that sort of things um, highly recommend uh, trying this feature out I usually don't see this being used a lot uh, because it is a lot of maintenance you have to actually update these steps but I think it's really worth it if your users are new to Salesforce and so the enhancement on that is you can now add pictures here so before it was only being able to add text so now you can say and I added a simple it's really simple no need to reach out to your admin to create a list view and um, you can add this any picture maybe the picture would be a screenshot of how to create a list view you can add that picture right here and they can say okay I know how and this pop-up will disappear okay um, so it's really easy to create uh, highly recommend checking it out but if you have any questions let me know you can just go to add and just follow the steps um, throughout okay so moving on to a different um, enhancement and this is really great because now you can have uh, lightning email templates so so far we have we have been using the classic email templates in all the email alerts um, and only using lightning email templates for when you want your users to be sending emails but now you can actually use the lightning email templates in chain sets as well as you can use them in a in an email alert so let me show you what that means if I go to email alerts and I'm gonna to try to create a new email alert test and just giving it an object email template and when I search email template I can now say I want a lightning email template and it will give me all the email template that I have in the system and I'm just gonna select a random one hit save so now you don't have to kind of switch between lightning and classic for the email templates or um, you're using classic email template for email alerts and then using lightning for something else um, so you can have everything in light now and all your email templates will be here in the email template object and um, another cool feature is you can actually use it uh, chain sets to move this because before it used to be data loader or actually create manually if you're moving between environments I cannot show you that here because I'm in a developer org and there's no chain sets but uh, check it out and see if it actually does appear in chain sets to move the lightning email templates okay um, that covers that covers pretty much all the customization feature general customization features for admins that I want to share there are other um, security related features uh, that's coming up uh, around health check and industry specific features as well as development features so highly recommend going to this uh, release notes and find your find your interest and go to that drop down it should have everything there another development feature that I wanted to share was uh, more around the custom metadata type so now you don't have to actually use a SQL query to query custom metadata um, you can just use this method um, directly just like you would in custom settings and that will just give you the values um, which is I'm really excited about because a lot of times you had to use custom metadata in a trigger and then query it to get a value now you can just use this and no need to 
spend a SQL query for that. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts. Thank you.